Awesome. What up, YouTube? Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and for taking the time to watch um, videos or, my, or the videos on this channel. Please let us know what it is, whatever it is you want us to talk about in the future. Today, we're going to talk about my first or my top five uh, books for learning Bitcoin and blockchain technology. All right. So, not necessarily in any order, but I'm just going to go over what I feel or my te uh, my top five books in to learn about Bitcoin or learn about blockchain technology or to learn more about this space. So the first book that I want to recommend, unfortunately, is not here. Okay, here you go. So the first book I want to recommend is, here we go, <laughs> Mastering Bitcoin. Mastering Bitcoin by Andreas Antonopoulos. Now, this is a very good book. If you're not a very technical person, uh, this book might be a little bit much because it's a very, 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 very techy book and goes into um, techy concepts like digital signatures and it's basically a very technical book. You know, so this is something that you might have, you might struggle with even a technical person, but I'm still gonna recommend some other books you can read. Uh, please ref reference my previous video where I talked about the different ways you can get involved in this space as an educator or as a developer or how you can apply Bitcoin or blockchain technology in your space. So as an educator, I recommend some other books um, that you can read. Oh, very, very quick note though. What I do is whenever it is I'm reading a book, I always like to have a notepad and a pen because you can't remember everything, the entire book. So there's some things that grab my attention and I just take my time. I take out my pen and I write it down in this notebook. So. I can always go back and review it, you know, sometime in the future, you know. So it's a very, very good thing to have, to have a notebook with a pen. So whenever you're reading something, it takes a lot of effort to do it, but I promise you it's worth it going back to write down things that you have picked up. So that way you can always reference that later. So the first book is Mastering Bitcoin by Andreas Antonopoulos. Second book is Mastering Blockchain by Imram Bashir. This is a very, very good book. This is almost like, I'll call it the blockchain Bible. I mean, it has pretty much, as of this uh, recording, any single thing you want to know about Bitcoin, about this blockchain space, it has pretty much everything that you uh, are looking for. And as you can see, I underline, I mark stuff in the book. It's always very good to do that. That way you can always come back and read stuff. Although sometimes you wonder why on earth did I underline that. But yes, it's always good to come back and read stuff that you've, under, uh, that you've marked out so that you can um, come back and reference it. Always a very good thing to do. So this is a good book, Mastering Blockchain by Imran Bashir. Please get this book. A little bit technical too, but it also goes over the history of um, blockchain technology and Bitcoin and other um, cryptocurrencies. So that's a definitely good book to have to be involved in this space. Third book is also by Andreas. It's called The Internet of Money. This is a very good book. This is, I think, Andreas's first book. Please go to his YouTube channel. I'll probably put a link below. I have learned a lot from Andreas Antonopoulos. This guy is, he knows exactly what he's talking about. So one thing I love about this book is, even if you're not a techie person, you can enjoy this book. The first Andreas book I mentioned is a very technical book, but this is pretty much, it's a summary of all the different talks he's done in, blockchain or in Bitcoin specifically, he's more specific on Bitcoin. He talks about how Bitcoin will change the world, how we went from voice to data, currency as a means of, I mean, it's just a very, very good book to have. So even if you're not a technical person, uh, previous video, I talked about different ways you can get involved in this blockchain space, probably as an educator, as a trainer, this is a very good book that you definitely have to, uh, would like to read. You don't have to do anything, but if you choose to, this is a very, very good book to read. And I promise you, it's a good one. All right. And then the fourth book is Digital Gold. This book is by um, Nathaniel Popper. This is a very good book. It's more of like a uh, read through. It's not a techie book. It's kind of like stories. It talks about, it goes over the history of this space from people, all the early adopters from Satoshi Nakamoto, the guy who um, invented Bitcoin, talks about how he got introduced or he, um, hooked up with Gavin Anderson, a couple of other people, uh, the very prominent names in this space, like Roger Ver, like Charlie Shrimp, like the guy behind Silk Road. I forgot his name, Silk Road guy. Silk Road guy, Silk Road guy. Anyway, probably come to me later, but the Silk Road guy talks about how the whole story um, behind that, Rush Ulrich, Rush Ulrich, I think that's his name, anyway. So it's a very, very, very good book that you definitely want to read. 
You don't have to be a techie person to read this. This is a very, very good one. Awesome. And last uh, but not least, now this book is not specifically about blockchain or Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. This book is about money. And you, the reason why the con Bitcoin concept got um, Came, became mainstream in the first place was in, after 2018 global financial crisis people started looking at money in a different way like what really is money what gives you value so bitcoin was the first application of blockchain technology but um, a very good book to read to understand the history about money in my opinion is this book this book is by michael maloney my previous video i um, actually talked about him it's called guide to investing in gold and silver when you know why you're doing something you can almost endure anyhow blockchain has so many applications beside money so many applications so many you know but um, this is definitely a good book you want to read because money and bitcoin was the first application of blockchain technology so trust me trust me trust me trust me you definitely want to read this book um please i know there are so many other books and people are probably wondering why don't you talk about this book why don't you talk about that book i know i know i, know, I know. can't talk about every single book but these are the five these are my five books I'm reading right now. These are my favorite books, and because I have the microphone, I can decide to um, say whatever book it is I want to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, get your pen, get your notebook, so you can always write stuff down. Don't be afraid to underline and comment, or you know, it's your book, so you can do anything that you want to do with it. And a very good tool to have, depends on where you live in the world, is one of these. This is a standing desk. Cool, right? Cool. They say sitting is the new cancer. So sometimes when you're coding on the screen and you're doing it for hours and hours, it can hurt your back. So if you're somewhere in the world that you can actually get one of these standing desks, I recommend that you buy one or you stand while you code. <laughs> um, please let me know what else you think we should talk about. And um, until next time, I wish for you is that you learn how to code because coding is changing, will change the future, especially in this Bitcoin blockchain technology space. And my opinion is that those people who get involved early will control the future. Um, so get involved and uh, let's go tell the rest of the world. Thank you.